a stronghold on this train even before the Rajouri terror strike. Jammu has witnessed close to eight months of protest by government employees from the Kashmir Pandit community. These are men and women whose families had moved to Jammu in the militancy years but were encouraged to return to the valley as part of a PM scheme to repatriate Pandits with the promise of government jobs. A scheme begun under the UPA in 2010 and revived by the Modi government. Over 4,000 Pandits moved back in the past decade. But the deadly targeted killings of 2022 has led to an en masse return to Jammu. But totally, how many people under the scheme who are not working here? 4,000 here, 4,000 employees. The tipping point, they say, was the killing in July last year of Rahul Bhatt, a pundit employed in the revenue department. मैं वापस आ रहा हूँ ड्राइव कर रहा हूँ तो इतने में ही रास्ते में ही मुझे आ गया फोन कि उसको तीन गोलियाँ लग गई जब उसने तीन गोलियों का तो मुझे उसी वक्त पता चल गया कि अब ये चांस नहीं है। In their home in Jammu, six months later, the grief is still raw for Rahul's parents. आप यहीं थे? हाँ, यहीं थी घर में। शादी कुछ साल ही पहले हुई थी। हाँ, � Rahul had returned to the valley in 2010 amongst the first batch of the PM scheme. But he was always unsafe, say his parents, not provided the protective housing promised by the government. Kashmiri Pandit was asking for one year before the government to keep the isolated places in Kashmiri Pandit. That was his name. That was his name. He was also a man who was in the district. He 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 was in the district. The absence of safety a key reason why the Pandit protesters refused to return. They say that despite the BJP in power both at centre and effectively the state, only a fraction of the promised secure housing has been built. प्रधान मंत्री पैकेज के तहत आज तक पचुन्जा सौ लोगों को रोजगार दिया गया है, जिसमें बतालीस सौ कश्मीरी पंडित हैं और बाकी अन्य समुदाय के भी लोग हैं। लेकिन बतालीस सौ में से मुझे बताएं आपने एक हजार चुरुन्जा लोगों को ही आज तक एकाम्डेशन दी है, जबकि हमारे लगभग बत्तीस कहीं ना कहीं इस टारगेट किलिंग के चलते उनको भी कहीं ना कहीं बाय है डर है कि अगर कहीं इस एम्पलाई को कल बाहर कुछ होता है उनकी भी जिम्मेदारी मंती है। So far the government has resisted their demand to be transferred to Jammu, suspending salaries and even threatening actions. But their presence on the streets calls into question the BJP's and the centre's claims of having normalised Kashmir after the abrogation, making it safe for pundits to return. Amit Shah said in March of last year that the biggest achievement of the Modi government after the abrogation of Article 370 is for the first time, quote, we have decisive control over terrorism, unquote. The reality is more complex. Official data does show a steady reduction in terror attacks from 417 in 2018 to 255 in 2019, the year of abrogation, dropping to 230 in 2021. But in 2017, two years before abrogation, the number of attacks had already fallen to 279, not that different to the numbers post-abrogation. Moreover, the number of civilian killings had actually fallen in the years before abrogation. In 2015, 17 killed, that number falling to 15 in 2016. Starting from 2017, civilian killings more than doubled to about 40 a year, a number that remained high despite abrogation shooting up to 41 killings in 2021, the highest in eight years. 
these are two different things. Nirmal Singh is a senior BJP leader and a former deputy chief minister of Jammu and Kashmir. The perception that BJP had said that Jammu and Kashmir is now safe, especially for minorities, for Hindus, all the more after the abrogation of Article 370. But you've had spate after spate of killing and now even not just in the valley, but also in Jammu. Isn't this a failure of some sort? No. First of all, uh, we must understand that it's a proxy war. And a country, uh, especially Pakistan, it's, a, um, at the, uh, it's behind it. Mm. And uh, uh, we have a porous border uh, and we are fighting proxy war. And sometimes the enemy, mm. uh, he looks uh, as winning. Uh, but we have to uh, see it in totality. Okay. What was the position uh, during 1990s? And uh, even during uh, the period when we were in power, uh, when Bharanivarni was, was killed, what was the position that? But that has come down. Beyond the numbers are the optics. To have the BJP's core base, Jammu's Hindus, be it in Rajori or Jammu, on the streets in protests, claiming fear and insecurity, complaining about broken promises, does not bode well for the party, especially as assembly elections loom. A local newspaper in Jammu headlined the prospective election dates in April or May this year, accompanying a front-page story of top BJP officials meeting in the city to plan political strategy. So far, the pundits say the BJP does not have to worry, even though they concede it has done little for them. What has BJP done? What has happened? What has happened? What has happened? As of now, concretely nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. No. But we still hope for the best. Concretely, कुछ हुआ है या आप सिर्फ ऐसे ही क्योंकि आप हमेशा से करते हैं blind faith, blind faith. Yes. आपको भी blind faith? सर, faith तो है. अच्छा. देखिए प्यार भी उसी सरकार से है और गोहार भी उसी सरकार से लगा रहे यही विडम्बना है कि हमें प्यार भी इसी सरकार से लेकिन गोहार भी अब इसी और वो भी गोहार किस लिए किसी सोने और चांदी महल नहीं हम अपने करोड़ों की प्रॉपर्टी छोड़ के आए हैं लेकिन भारत माता का झंडा कश्मीर के अंदर हमेशा बुलंद रखा अपने सनातन का ध्वज वहां पे बुलंद रखा लेकिन फिर भी अगर आप इस कश्मीरी पंडित की व्यथा त्रासदी पीड़ा को आज के दौर में इस डिस्पेंसेशन में जो कि सशक्त है पूरे देश में इसका ढंका बज रहा है पूरे दुनिया में बज रहा है अगर आज भी इस कश्मीरी पंडित की व्यथा और पीड़ा को ये नहीं समझेंगे एक तरफ से आप ऑस्कार फिल्म को नॉमिनेट करते हैं ये कश्मीर फाइल्स को नॉमिनेट करते हैं ऑस्कार अवार्ड के लेकिन दूसरी तरफ से वही कश्मीरी पंडित अगर रो रहा है सड़कों पर इसकी नहीं सुनी जा रही है तो कहीं ना कहीं ये दुख की बात है